Okay, Jeff, let's check in with you because we have a red flag warning coming into effect this week. Yes, everything is on track for those gusty winds, especially in the mountains of the Bay Area. It is uh, something that we have dealt with so much this year. So this is just another another hit to us to have to go through this. But I want to give you the information here uh, to get you through it over the next couple of days. And I wanted to start off with the wider picture first and show you uh, why we are going to be getting these gusty winds. And it's all about high pressure setting up over the West. What happens uh, with this, the way it's positioned is we'll get some drier winds coming out of the north and the east, the circulation around this, and it pushes this wind offshore. That's why we call it an offshore wind. Uh, winds sustain 10 to 20, gusts of 20 to 50. And it's all about the direction of the wind that makes it so dangerous. It's because the wind continually passes over the land instead of the ocean, and that's why it will be very dry. Again, that air passing over the land. But there's something else that happens. As that wind moves over the mountains, it eventually descends that air starts to compress it adds additional heating and that's what makes the trees and the grass also very dry it's known as adiabatic heating uh, in the world of meteorology and it also brings our humidities down to about 10 percent sometimes so this is why we have a red flag fire warning in effect when we get these dry northeasterly winds so this remains here from 5 a.m wednesday until 11 a.m on friday with these 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts possible and sustained winds of 10 to 20. So the wind forecast with this tonight, it's not that gusty. Tomorrow we begin to see things pick up. I think the North Bay overall will be the focus of the biggest wind. You can see the red and magenta color here. We'll begin to see 30 to about 50 mile per hour winds starting to develop over the North Bay Mountains uh, near Mount St. Helena again tomorrow morning. We'll see it expand a little bit more inland. There you go by Wednesday evening. And then we'll see this pattern of those gusty winds primarily over the North Bay Mountains into Thursday morning and also right as we head through Thursday evening. Then as we hit Friday, we'll begin to see those winds starting to relax. So Wednesday and Thursday, really kind of the brunt of these gusty winds. Temperatures to start tomorrow will be warmer with that drier wind developing. 60s here, South Bay Peninsula, Tri-Valley, mostly sunny skies, San Francisco at 60. Daytime highs also getting bumped up about three to six degrees. So more 90s in my forecast tomorrow, 91 in Morgan Hill. Plenty of 90s for inland East Bay, and we have near the coast in the Bay, also some 80s return at 85 here in Hayward. Let's move you over to the peninsula, 89 in Palo Alto, and then we'll see more of these 80s extending into San Francisco. I have the mission at 83 degrees right up through the North Bay. We are going to the 90s for much of it. Uh, 93 here in Nevada, 92 Santa Rosa, 95 in Napa. I do think we'll begin to see things cool down here in San Francisco by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. 60s coming back early next week. And for the inland valleys, we'll also step out of the heat and the fire danger beginning on Saturday. That and we're down to some low 80s by next Monday and also Tuesday's forecast. We'll take more looks at the wind and the fire danger. We have plenty more coming your way tonight, and uh, I'll be back at 6 o'clock. Okay, we'll see you then. Thanks, Jeff.